all of our freshmen and sophomores our chance. So we're going to hand over to the cheerleaders really quick. All right?
I stood him.
everyone. I'm Shannon Davis along my side with Greg Krause, and we are here for the Fredonia Hillbillies homecoming weekend. The Fredonia Hillbillies against the Gowanda Pine Valley Panthers. And we've got a perfect night for football. I mean, you couldn't write it up. There's no, there's no wind. It's the perfect temperature. Everything but the field. Everything but the field. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, it's absolutely. Although it'll be, it won't be a factor tonight. No, no, you it know? won't. It, it's, it's, you know, it's not tore up. It's not muddy right now. Um, the lines are painted really nice, but we know the conditions. But we are excited to be here. It's our second home uh, game of the year. Greg, it's the first game you are with me. The Fredonia Hillbillies are 2-0 and coming into the game. Uh, last week, they did not get to play. The Chautauqua Lake-Westfield Brockton game was delayed, rescheduled for the end of the season because of COVID. Um, so they are 2-0, and and Gowanda is 1-2. and Week 1, Fredonia beat Olean here at the Orange Bowl, 14-13. Rough start. And then week 2, they traveled down to Allegheny. Uh, Allegheny gave them everything they could handle early on. But at the end of the second half, they scored the end of the... The first pl last play of the second half, and they returned to kickoff in the first play of the second half and blew that game open for a 49-26 victory, going 2-0. Gowanda, 1-2 for the season. Um, in their record, let me get to that page, they lost an opener to Portville at Portville, 28-6. They were able to beat Chautauqua Lake, 30-8 at home, and then last week they lost to Casadega Valley, uh, Faulkner, Maple Grove, 21 to nothing. So both teams have a win, a league win at that matter. Um, Fredonia's 1-0 in the league, 2-0 for the season. Uh, but this is a, a really big game for Gowanda, and if you're looking at the odds, Greg, this should be a Fredonia victory going into a really tough next two weeks against Salamanca Southwest. Yeah, the, the spread came in at uh, 11 and a half. Unofficially. Unofficial, Greg yeah. just made that up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I called into Vegas. But it is a C-South game. Absolutely. So it is it's a, a league it's important game. league game. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, go, I mean, go on as if they're – I don't think we can, you know, we laugh about the spread. I don't think we can just assume, you know, they've got a win um, and, a, and a quality win. Yeah. And that's uh, key, your quality, right? Right. If you're Fredonia, you don't want to come out sputtering. We did the the last season over against Gowanda. It was supposed to be a, a bloodbath that year. And you and I did the game, I believe. And it was like a 20 nothing. but Fredonia did not look good at all. You know, it was a slow game, ugly game. Um, you know, and they expected to kill him. Gowanda didn't even finish that season in football. So they need to come out here strong. Uh, kick the cobwebs. You know, they haven't played in two weeks. That's not easy to overcome for a bunch of 16, 17, and 18-year-olds to be able to come in here and come out flying after not playing in two weeks. Well, and then you throw in homecoming, which, which you know, so for, for those of us sitting here, we're saying, well, homecoming, they should be very fired up. They're also a little distracted. Absolutely. And, and my message to my sons was have fun, uh, play hard, and, and keep focused. You know, like, you, you can't let your emotions get ahead of you, and if things don't go your way early, you know, things can get hairy quick. So, and Fredonia tends to be a slow starting they team. They are. They are. So let's take a look at some of the stats so far this season between um, Gowanda and Fredonia. It, we'll start with Gowanda first, the visiting team. Their quarterback, the only one that's thrown a pass, he's a senior, Maddox Browning. He is 18 for 38 for the season, 142 yards, one TD, one interception. So that's, I mean, 18 pass attempts in three games. Right. That's not a we lot of pass attempts. We obviously know they're, right. you know, they're going to run the ball. That, Absolutely. It, it, they're looking to, to grind it and 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 right. Possess. And it, you know, they, absolutely. And, and by the way, that should be their answer today. Right. If they're going, if Gowanda is going to have success, they're going to want to. You know, they got to win the time of possession. They've got to win the turnover battle. They've got to have most everything go right for them. Right. And, and if you look at the rushing attack, which is, you know, we, what we just said, they have three guys, 25 or more carries in three games, which is, a, you know, that's almost 10 yards of carry for three guys. And that's led by Gavin Phillips, senior running back for the season. 
35 carries, 195 yards. He's averaging 5.6 carries, which is an outstanding average with two touchdowns. Second leading rusher is the quarterback, Max Browning, another senior, another 30 carries, Greg, and 135 yards, and he's averaging over four yards, four and a half yards carrying and two touchdowns. Then you have a junior running back, uh, Harley Conklin, Conklin, who has 25 carries, 127 yards for the season. So all three averages per carry, 4.5, 5.1, and 5.6, that's an outstanding average per carry, and that gets you a lot of first downs. They are, uh, you know, they are giving up probably about... uh, I think we looked at it about 25 pounds a man, and the average on the on the offensive and defensive lines. Though Fernonia is a bigger team, absolutely. Um, but uh, and and so they're going to have they're going to struggle to run that ball. But but perhaps it's scheme, perhaps whatever it takes. On the other side, if you take Whitfield out of the equation, you know, I mean, obviously quarterback's got the ball in his hand and he's going to run. You know, they've only got 36 carries by a running back all season. So right. they're only, you know, that's Talk 12. Talking about Fredonia. Yeah, Right, Fredonia. Yeah. Yep. And just in finishing Gowanda stats, uh, one real receiver having nine catches for 79 yards, and that is Noah, Noah Vogtliel. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Boatley. Boatley, okay, you got That the, G is silent. That G is Boatley. silent. Boatley, yeah. thank you, Greg. Um, so that kind of sums up. Uh, the Gowanda stats, but like Greg was leading it, the Fredonia rushing tech really hasn't been overly impressive. I mean, you got senior Matt Lauder, who's a stud. Had a He's great, a powerhouse. I mean, ran the ball, you know, was yeah. excellent last year running the ball. Uh, absolutely, yeah. but he only has, I mean, he has 28 carries for 111 yards on the season. Now, granted, that's a four four average carry, but the leading rusher, as you were leading to, is Nick Whitfield, the senior, who has 25 carries himself for 152 yards and four touchdowns rushing. The only guy getting a rushing touchdown for Fredonia is the quarterback, Nick Whitfield. Now, if I I guess if I have Nick Whitfield, I'm going to run him, I'm going to throw him, I'm going to do everything I can because uh, you know, the ball should go through, the play should go through Nick, and, and it starts in a, it, there. But th- they, got this, they got this Davis kid uh, who's got a 14.3 yard average per carry? I don't know what, why they don't give him the ball more. Well, the talk <laughs> is the talk is uh, we expect to in the next couple of games to see a lot more of Micah Davis. He's a good change of pace. You know, they got Matt Lauder was the bruiser. Yes. You know, over 200 pounds, wrongs hard. No one wants to take him one on one. And you got Micah Davis, 160 pounds, a little scat back, tough kid himself. And, uh, you know, last year he had over 100 yards rushing, or last week, excuse me, two yep. weeks ago, actually, on five carries, he had 101 yards. So they are looking to get uh, Davis a few more carries, but it's hard to take Lauder off the field. And and per, I think part of, uh, part of Micah's average per carry is the fact that he is only getting five or six carries. He's the change of pace back. You know? Absolutely. And, you know, and, you know, and maybe when he gets the ball, Team doesn't expect him to get it. He hits that hole quick. He's hard to see at about 5'8". And uh, we're going to a little quick pause here for the National Anthem, oh, Greg. There we go.
away. Great job by the Fredonia band. It's got to be the marching band. band. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, Fredonia Playing always, we, we get great anthems out of Fredonia, whether it's, you know, somebody is singing or, or playing it. They, you know, I, I love the fact that they don't just put a tape in. Okay, so we are going to, you're going to see the uh, uh, starting, should we break for the starting rosters for both teams or we want to keep going? Okay. Number one, Simon Davis. Well, there we go. Number five, Matt Lauder. Number six, Nick Whitfield Jr. Number eight, Ethan Fry. Number 11, Brandon Bronski. Number 24, Gavon McCall. Number 58, Matt Cash. Number 68, Izzy Martinez. Number 72, Simon Price. And number 75, Sean Farnham. So, so there you have it, the starting offense being and announced tonight. Greg Sherlock, tonight's officials, and you can see, I mean, that, that, that is a uh, strong and uh, veteran large offensive line. Absolutely. You know, you got at each tackle, you have two seniors, both, both of those seniors, Sean Farnham, and Izzy Martinez have played three years on varsity, uh, and they're the bookends. You have a sophomore starting at center, Simon Price, doing a real nice job. And you got two of the best guards in the league with Owen Rush, the sophomore, and Matt Cash as guards. And, and they're the key to this offense. If they can control that line of scrimmage, you know, giving Whitfield time to pass, giving Lauder and Davis time to run, that's a big day. The one thing we didn't get to mention, real quick, sorry to interrupt, Greg, is the receiving. You got a number of receivers here putting up some impressive numbers, being led by senior Devon McCall. 11 catches in two games, 108 yards. Nine of those catches came in Allegheny. Um, Brandon Ronsky also doing a great job. Had a real big first game. Uh, only one catch last week, but he has eight catches for 135 yards and a touchdown. Senior Simon Davis getting his first catches last week. Um, four catches, 74 yards, and a touchdown. And Ethan Fry himself, junior backup quarterback as well, first real snaps as um, a, a wide receiver. And he'll be starting quarterback next year, six catches, 55 yards, and two touchdowns. So, so the, the two things that jump out real quick is, number one, we have uh, six receivers. I mean, that's spreading the ball around, right? In two games, six receivers have caught passes. Yep. The, the other... The other side of that is uh, I don't have a running back catching the ball yet. Uh, Lauder has one catch. Oh, there you go. Matt Lauder does have one catch for five yards, but you're right. Um, it's, you know, mainly receivers. You got sophomore Jamison Quinn, the sixth guy in there, getting a one catch for 13 yards. So, yeah, two games, six completions. But you, I've heard the Ferroni coaches saying this is one of the best receiving groups that they've had in a, in a long time. And not to mention, you have Keegan Whitfield that could go in there at receiver and, and do some damage. You have Micah Davis that could go in there. So really there's eight guys right there that at any point make a big play on the offense receiving along with the other six guys we just mentioned. So today we see Al Fazer on camera, our head referee. Al's, you know, gosh, I think Al was made when reffing when I played it. And, <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm, I'm only a year younger than him or something like that. You know, I mean, he's just been officiating for a long, long time and doing a great job. And, and how about these camera angles? You got Jackson right yeah, out we, on the yeah, field. Yeah, we got to do a shout out with today. Our, yeah. our, our team, our crew, you know, absolutely. Chip Rewald is, is in the booth running the show. He's got, he's moving things around, but we got Jackson Hickey, Cody Decker, and Hannah Rewald just doing a great job. It's, it's, it's very cool that they've got, uh, you know, it's a long way from a several years ago when we had one camera that kind of panned back yeah. and forth. I physically if, can't stand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, are we, so, are, do we have, do we have a slow mo today, and replay, we, uh, yeah. all that kind of stuff? Holy crow! We're gonna put on a show for all you folks there out we there. Go. And, and you know what else, Greg? I want to give a quick shout out. All week long, every week, I get all sorts of texts from people. We got grandparents, people from all over the country watching this game. Um, and so I really appreciate 
all of you tuning in, the positive thoughts and comments, how great of a job Greg does. Uh, so I really appreciate that. But no, I mean, this is why we volunteer to do this, to bring all of you. My dad's watching from the Catskill Mountains. We got the Rushes from Florida. We got people from all over the place watching this game. And it really means a lot to us that you guys are tuning in and being able to experience these boys and their games from far away. And I think the, the boys love it, too, because it's on YouTube. They're going back and Absolutely. watching it. I hear from the parents of the kids that, you know, hey, we were watching the game, you know. And, yeah, it's just special that uh, that, that we can have this broadcast. And, by the way, I, I, was, I was just at lunch with a couple of friends from back in the day. Everybody's in a different school district. Every other the other school districts don't have this. Absolutely. I know one of my pals from West Seneca East who said, hey, when you come to us, can you guys come and yeah, film absolutely. the game? Because we don't get it, you know? So, yeah. So we got senior we Calder go. near kicking off for Fredonia. Uh, back to receive, you got Maddox Browning, number two. I think that's number 10, Gavin Phillips. High, high kick, Greg, fielded right at the 14. And here we go, homecoming. That's number two, Maddox Browning on the return. Bringing it out past the 30-yard line. It's going to be spotted right around, I think, the 31. Yep. yep. And Gawanda will start the first possession of 2021 homecoming with the Fredonia Hillbillies. Decent kick, decent coverage. You know, I mean, I, I think both sides are happy with that kickoff. You yeah. know, they're happy to be on the 31. And uh, so we got a spread. Wow, twins left. Yeah, twins left formation, Pro two backs. Shotgun, shot, yep. kind of a pistol and a half. A little motion here, and they're going to give it to the up back. And the Fredonia defense is all Lost over that. I mean, great job, and it looks like that's 62. And that would be big. the big man, uh, Izzy Martinez. Not 62, but that was Izzy Martinez in on that opening tackle. But you got Alex Palouk doing a great job of containment, and uh, Martinez able to clean that up. Back down. Oh, but you can leave it down, you know. But that's 68, Izzy Martinez. So second long, no gain. Right back, right up the middle. Once again, nothing there. There is a flag on the play. So let's see what that flag face is. We mask. got face oh, max against Fredonia. And, and one of the big things that we can say about, and here's the replay, see if we can see it. Um, but penalties have been a killer for Fredonia in the first two games so far. And there's no need for that. They did a great job. And I didn't see the face mask there, but. In that uh, scrum, he may have just caught it. Yeah. It's, it's not a personal foul face mask. Uh, so it is a five yard penalty. So yeah, like you said, he probably just caught it, but now it's, you know, repeated down it's instead of being third and long, it's now gonna be about second five ball spotted at the 36. Sticking with the twins formation. This time you got Browning in under, no, he's not under center. The one back is up high. It's gonna oh, be a false start there, against. That gets the five back. Yep, yep. That's Gavin Phillips, the running back, fell for his own Browning's hard count himself. And you can hear the fans, folks. Uh, there's, you know, what a great crowd we have here on homecoming. Again, the weather helps. Yeah, the bleachers are pretty full. And Guan has a decent amount of people traveling, good 45 minutes. And it's never a fun trip driving from Gawanda. Man, oh man. Made that trip in the snow, yes. Yeah. There you go, shotgun formation. Quarterback's gonna keep it this time, Browning. And there's Izzy Martinez once again waiting for that. The big man, 68, two tackles here early. Doing a real nice job. Gain of two, so we got third and eight. Yeah, and what you're gonna see if you haven't watched Fredonia's first two games, and a Credit to the coaches, and they got great depth here on the defensive line. You're going to see all sorts of subs coming in and out. And with their size and the amount of players that they can play on the D line, it keeps their offensive linemen fresh, and it really has worn out the opponents in the first two games. So keep looking for players flying on and off the field at the D line position. So now we got trips right, motion spread to the offense. Left. 
fake. Bro Didn't looks like Browning's going to keep it. Yup, this is a pure keeper. Great job by Alex Ballou. Clean it up by the big man sophomore, Owen Rush, with the tackle. But that all started with that defensive end here, Greg. You're going to see it. Look at number 55. He's not going to get the tackle. Didn't he's bite. not going to get the save, but he's staying at home. And he's keeping Browning on the inside. McCall does a nice job fighting off on the outside, and Rush floats with the ball for the big tackle. Pretty on unimaginative the call, though, I have to admit, for a spread offense with a yeah. third and eight, you know, I mean, just to run your quarterback immediately. Back to return the punt is Davis and uh, Quinn, I believe. Quinn fumbles the snap, and it's going to be, gonna be for the punt. Ball. And Gawan is able to recover it. Micah Davis on the tackle, but that ball goes right through the sophomore. Jamison Quinn's hand, and that's the first real big mistake by Fredonia, and it's a nice first down for Gawanda on that play, and you're gonna see it here. And good job by Davis there, because 69 might have gone all the way, right? Gone. Yeah. So you don't want to get your first tackle on special teams if you're Davis, but that's good, good heads up play there. So they've advanced now to the 43. We'll call it the 43, first and 10. Same spread offense. First. Now he's going to throw the ball. Looking, Looking to get it all right there. Coverage. And he's got his receiver. That's a Very nice, nice catch. Uh, let's see if we can get a number here. Great. That's is that 17. 17. Are you right? And that's Quinton Center um, for Gawanda on the catch from Browning. I think that was Ronsky, Brandon Ronsky over there on the coverage. One on one coverage, and Center was the came up with the ball so now you got so now just as I I'm talking about it being unimaginative the next play they come out off the turnover and 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 go for it and very nice pass and catch yeah you take that shot you, you know if you're going you got to be aggressive you want to go for this win right back to the run game right out the middle here not a lot there the Bumble. ball came loose but I saw the official point to the ground so they're saying forward progress stopped or he yeah, was down Gain of two. I think that might have been Conklin, number four on the carry. So it'll be second down. Actually, they're giving him four yards, almost up to the 10 yard line. So second down in a long six here for Gawanda, who really needs to capitalize on this turnover by Fredonia. Under center, a little sweep outside. Got some. That's a good job there. You got Alex Paluk in on that tackle. Number four, Harley Conklin on the run. Conklin with the carry, third down. So you're in four down territory, Greg. Gain yeah. of about two to three yards there. So we're a third and a long three, would you say? I would. And you know, obviously you're in four down territory. Ball spotted about the 12, no, sorry, about the seven yard line of Fredonia. Browning back under center. Oh, saw something there. And he's going to keep it, and he's going to be... Fumble. Wait, are they going to call it? He certainly no. lost the ball. They're going to the say down, progress yep. done? Yep, I think so. Boy, I'll tell you, that was a great little call. He quick snapped it. He came up to the line. He must have saw something. But that was a very, uh, you know, just came up to the line, quick snap, and Fredonia wasn't ready, and first down on the two? Two, I believe, yeah. So it's first and goal, two yards to go on the two. You know, Gawanda again looking to capitalize on that big turnover on the fumbled punt by Jamison Quinn, and they need to capitalize. They need to take advantage of these opportunities if they have any chance to win tonight. We got the Enzo can there by Jackson Chilbury. You got a great view of that line of scrimmage. And Browning tries to keep her there. And as you guys could see, our spectators, there was not a lot there. Great job by in linebacker and defensive line there. Gain of one of be second down and goal. A yard to go. Owen Rush, and as you can just see, Owen Rush came in for Sean Farnham as part of that D-line substitution rotation that we got going on here by the Hillbillies. Yeah, Jaden Whitfield in there at nose tackle, Izzy Martinez. Oh, 
Karate no, tries. Oh. No. Risky. Yes, I think that's a turnover. We'll They're gonna see here. I, yes. Ri I, what a risky play. He tried to reach it over, didn't get it. Yeah. And Let's whoever was at this heads up. Play. Was that got Simon that got that ball? Here it goes. Oh, Light yeah. up in. Trying to oh, it's over. up in the air. Yeah, Simon Davis does come up with it. Yeah. So Gawanda but blows a boy, huge opportunity. Oh that boy was, ball was up in the air, Craig. You don't usually see that. And Davis was able to jump up and catch it in the scrum and bring it out to the five. Um, and, and what a what a break for Fredoni and what a missed opportunity for the Gwanda Pine Valley Panthers. So 5.39, so they've controlled the, <laughs> the clock, but here we go. Whitfield back, he's got his receivers and Lauder to his right. Let's see what they're gonna call out of the end zone. It's gonna be a Whitfield keeper, but that was no fool, no one. Number 10, Gavin Phillips and a nice tackle on Whitfield. One on one and Whitfield had no chance on that. Trying to get just a little bit of room, you know, so uh, trying to squeak it up, but boy, Gowanda was on it. So now yeah. we've got second and nine. Yeah, gain of one. Gavin Phillips came in hard from that middle linebacker spot and made a real nice low tackle. He got trips right, lone receiver left is Ethan Fry, and they're gonna give it to Lauder. Oh, Lauder's he's got, got lots of nice room. He's, oh, he, he, go. oh, oh, he's nice. caught from behind by number eight. But what a hole! And you can hear this crowd, Greg. I barely can hear myself talking. And, and it was so, that that boy Lauder's got to buy a steak for that offensive line because look at this. Here's on the replay. Watch that hole. He he just blew it out. And he's not touched until right. It's a nice block there by Ethan Fry and number eight. You there. know Lauder's a pretty good. He's a banger. He doesn't yeah. even know what to do with the ball no, when he doesn't <laughs> get hit. You know. He, <laughs> what a great job that's Sean Farnham, Farnham and Owen, or no, uh, Matt Cash, I think, is playing left guard this week. Uh, they did a real nice job on the left side. Boy, that's a... Out to the 49, just in the Panther territory. Trips right once again, same formation. Going, no, faking to Lauder and nice Nick mix. Whitfield hits Ethan Fry. <laughs> So it was from the 49, ball's going to be down to the 38. 30, 38. 30. So gain of 11 on the play. And, and here goes that Fredoni offense right back to that line of scrimmage. Just a good call, too. I mean, you know, you just busted open a big run. You've run the ball twice. Now we're going to toss it out there a little bit. Nice, safe pass. Micah Davis is in for Lauder now. And he's going to get the carry. And he's got a big hole to the right side. Breaks one tackle. Still on his feet. I think he was down on that ball, did come loose. No, they're calling that loose, but Micah Davis is gonna get another first down on that carry. Lauder's coming right back in, yeah, Good so. 14 yard gain. Yeah, nice run by Davis. I'm not sure if they ruled that a fumble or not. Either way, Fredonia recovered it. You got a bunch formation sweep too. That's McCall, Devon McCall in the backfield. We haven't seen that all year. And he's gonna be pushed out of bounds short of the first down, I believe, Greg. Looked like nine. Yeah, so he had that trips bunch formation to the right and, and a pitch to Devon McCall. And there's a ton of athletes on this Fredonia Hillbilly squad. And get them all involved early is a, a good recipe for success. Second and about two. Balls on. Now the clock says 24, which is nowhere near right. So it's no, at about the, the 17. I, I, had, yeah. I think they're about the 17. Need to get to the 15 yeah, for a first go. down. My gang, why did your phone just say you were at Justin's? She was there. No, this was like five minutes ago. I don't know what's going on. Officials are holding a play here. I didn't, there's no call. Wait, what do you got over They're here? They're doing we adjustment the on the clock maybe? Oh no, it's first down, it's written on the clock. It should be second down and about two, ball in the 17 maybe. Oh, they're changing the time. Back to four minutes. So adjustment on the time, we need to get, you know, if you're watching, you can see the clock, but you guys can. It should be second down about two. Ball's on the 17. 
Whitfield from the shotgun takes a snap, looking to his left, hits McCall. And he is tackled very nicely there by number eight. Uh, that's Noah, and help me out here, Greg. Noah, the Chief Silent. Go? Oh, yeah. Silent. Foley. Foley. But that's enough for a first down. And if you watched last week's game, this was exactly. McCall has hit about seven times in that exact route, uh, but Voltley made a real nice tackle, but not for a first and goal opportunity for the Hillbillies. And Whitfield's gonna keep it, this is, uh, but he is going to be stopped as Voltley again in on the tackle. So, you know, Ferroni really likes to go to the QB keeper here uh, in goal line situations. So what do we do get about, uh, let's see, they were on the nine, I think they're on the six or five, are we gonna call it? It's hard it's to see from here. on the six, yep, on the six. Three so yard gain. gain. The three, yep. uh, second, second seven. goal. With Lauder hanging out more in a pistol formation right behind Whitfield here. Look for Lauder to get the ball and he does and he's gonna get his first boy, oh boy. touchdown of his senior season. A wide open hole to the right side. He had Great another hole like that the last one. He, line. Yeah. yeah. Very impressive. And, and, and good for the senior. He hadn't found the end zone all year long, and he's able to do that. And good job by on the right side of the line there. It's Izzy Martinez over there on the right tackle and at the right guard. Again, you got Cash and Rush at guards. I think that's Cash on the right side. On the kick, the extra point is junior number two, Sal Tapone who is perfect for the year, and he remains perfect. So after one possession, the Fredonia Hillbillies go 95 yards for the first score of homecoming, making the score 7-0, 3-12 remaining. And in Shannon, the first they did quarter. that in two minutes and 27 seconds. On Up the ground, the in the air. Yep. Two minutes and 20, three, four, five first downs, just really uh, shoot out. Obviously, the first big play by Lauder, that that forty-seven yard run or whatever, I get a little bit back. But uh, from there, they just clicked. That offense looks very sharp. And that and that would be led, in my opinion. You're starting with that offensive line. They dominated. Yes. Whitfield didn't oh, yeah. get touched on a pass. The holes were wide open Lauder, for both Davis the and Lauder. Yeah. Davis too. You know yeah. they were. You know three running attempts by the running backs. Whitfield had a couple <laughs> running attempts himself. So you had Whitfield, Lauder, Davis, McCall, Fry, all touching the ball on the first possession. And again, that's, that's a great job by the offensive coaching staff, Coach Balbino, Greg Sherlock, making those calls to spread it out, get a bunch of players involved, and overcoming that big turnover early. Uh, number, we have to keep track of this because Tabone and Anir will kick off as Calder and Anir number four once again. The Hillbillies have two soccer players kicking for them this year. They've done a fantastic job and it really helps out special teams. And here we go, Calder and Anir again. This time right down the middle, a little miscommunication. He's got to run that, don't oh, touch it. Oh no, what a perfect kick stop right at the one. And they drop wow. to their knees, touching it. So terrible field position if you're a Kawanda Pine Valley Panther field uh, fan. But great job by Calder and Near here. So you, so so how do you? I mean, momentum swing. You're on the one yard line going in. You fumble the ball. Fredonia drives it down your throat, kicks off, and pins you down on year one. Yeah, and, and that's you know ret return men there. Little miscommunication, and then they panic. You yes. know, they had time to pick, pick that it ball up, and up run at it least up get to, out yeah. to the 10. Yep. But I got to tell you that the special teams of Fredonia had three, four guys right on them, too, causing them the fear picking it up and just jumped on it. So here we go. So they got to be concerned about getting it out of here. And then we got a free whistle. Timeout. Okay. Timeout. Timeout. It's got to be Gawanda. Yeah, the last thing they want to do is get a safety and turn the ball right back over to Fredonia. Uh, so good job start here. The offense responded 95 yard. We had one turnover. We, we talk about that. you know we talked about how Fredonia tends to have a slow start. It looked like that was going to happen. Yeah, they yeah. had the fumble. They had the drive, and all of a sudden, just turned it around. They've got the crowd back in it. They've got the team back in it. You know they're going to be flying around. So probably a very good timeout. 
by Kawanda Pine Valley to be able to make sure they settle down and somehow get enough, you know, something positive out of this. Yeah, and what do you do if you're Kawanda? Like you said, Ferroni is all sorts of amped up right now, homecoming weekend. That defense is just going to be motoring. you got to try to take advantage of it, but you're at the one-yard line, so you yeah. don't... How do you run a reverse? A reverse would be a great play, but at the one yard line, you know, like, right. how do you do that? It'd be a real gutsy call if they even do that type of play. So, well, and they run out of the shotgun almost exclusively. Now he's Absolutely. naked in the shotgun, so he's he's throwing this ball. Or it's a over keeper, and he oh. oh just breaks one tackle and gets out. Boy, he did not gain a yard. No, I mean. Really, he did a great job not getting yes. the safety there. He had Devon McCall one-on-one. -on -one. If we see that on replay, McCall was unblocked, and that's Browning's able to shake go. him. Uh, great yeah, job. He got right. Palou. It just oh, couldn't quite get him. And, and Browning did everything he could just to get back to the line of scrimmage there. Actually, they're saying it's a, you know, the, the, the yard markers over there Put the ball like the three, so now they're back to the one. So they're calling that a loss of two. I thought they were right at the one. Here we go once again. Browning is gonna keep it himself, and he's going nowhere fast. Now they're really, you know, they have no faith in their offensive line. They're trying to hit it as quick as they possibly can to get some yards. Now you're going to have third and long. You know, third and 11 to 12 yards. Yeah, I would have thought they'd tighten up the splits. you, you got to do one or two, th tighten up the splits and just try to grind out a few yards or go shotgun and throw the ball. Yeah, yeah, and you know, you don't want to punt from, right. you know, ball being snapped at your own one yard line on the road and homecoming. So nothing else. I mean, if you look at that ball snap, Greg, holy cow, that's almost, that's right on the goal line there. Juan is in a real tough situation here. The Fernoni defenders are licking their chops and they can't get too aggressive. You don't want to give up that first down. It is going to be a pass he's play. He's in trouble. Brown, he's a in safety. a lot of play and that is going to be a safety. Great job by that D line. Let's see if I don't know who got the sack there, but there was two or three guys from Fernonia. We're going to see it on replay. That, you know, and I don't think that's a blitz either. That's just a D line just getting in there. The with three. And I still couldn't. You see Owen Rush in maybe. there. That's Owen Rush, but there's yeah, a couple was, other guys in I on the tackle. I think Rush would get there. Well, let's see who are they. Can... So I don't make the score. Fredonia nine, Gowanda zero. 120 left in the first quarter, and now Gowanda has to kick off, kick off punt, whichever they choose. It was it from their own 20? Does that come from after a safety? Yes. It's going to be well, right around the 20 yard ball, line. Yeah. yeah. I assume it's the same. Yep. So Fernonia is going to be looking to get real good Maybe field position here. It'd be interesting if they kick or punt, because you could do either one well, in this situation. Saying, if you're the Gwanda. Usually you punt the ball because uh, you don't have that 15 yard snap and it gets the ball high. But in high school, we got punters that can't get it 30, 40 yards, so they're going to try to kick the ball. Yeah, right. So let's see, you got Chad Bongiovanni waiting to hand the, now I don't see a T out there though, do you? No, it, well in fact, I watched him throw the T over to the bench. Okay, so, so he's gonna number, punt the ball. That's number four, right? Harley Conklin. Yep. You got Davis and Quinn right at their own 45 yard line. And he almost wondered, Davis is moving up. Okay, as I was say, the 45, yeah, I was he wondering He brought the T out and I watched him heave it over. The coach must have said punt the ball and he yeah. heaved it over. The whole idea, and here he goes. This is going to be a line drive punt. Oh, and then it gets by. Got a oh, that's Davis, not uh, Quinn. He's able to get it right at his own 32. So you have Davis and Davis back there on the return. And he's able to split defenders. Davis gets it out to 41. So it's probably about a seven, eight yard return for Micah Davis. And Fredoni's going to have much better field position this time compared to the yeah. nine. You know, it'd been nice if his brother got a block for him there. He didn't touch anyone. <laughs> well, they, Gwanda couldn't have asked. It was a, you know, a, a very poor kick, but they got the bounce they needed. So it split out those yeah. returners. We got trips left here. Davis is all alone on the right hand side. Lotter to uh, Whitfield's left. 
And they're going to look to go the bunch as Ethan Fry, his second catch of the year, breaks the first tackle, breaks the second. He's going to finally be tackled by number 58, Dylan Milne of, of uh, Gawanda. Boy, that was a pretty good yard, seven yard gain. Yeah, you know what I mean? He, yeah, he was in trouble early. Oh, we got to go on the do down. Have a, a player down here for Gawanda. So I didn't, you know, we didn't see what happened. It looks like that's 75, Andrew Barlow of Wanda, one of their interior linemen. Um, big fella, so that's the last thing Wanda wants to do is learn lose a lineman tonight, excuse me, against this Fredonia line. Looking real quick to see, Barlow is a junior. 5'10", 210, yeah. They're not looking at no. right. Now the good, you know, I guess you know, you know, the good news is, you know, coach and a parent, somebody who's watching this is that it doesn't look like he's holding a knee or an elbow or a, you know a head or anything like that. He yeah. maybe just got the wind knocked out of him. You, you hit, see hit it the stretching wrong place. that right yeah. leg. So it looked like they just straightened it out a little. I mean, we're, I mean. You know, it's like I right. did say to Holiday Inn Express last night. You're right, so, you, right. You know, we're like, guessing. Like we have any idea what's really wrong uh, or what happened to Andrew down there. Uh, but like you said, it doesn't look. You know, last week at it does two look weeks like we ago, have an, we have an actual athletic trainer out there, what, which you is know, always good to see. You know, he's not from Fredonia. Fredonia, right. God forbid, <laughs> if we had a trainer, that costs money. You know. Yeah, you probably get an intern. Yeah, right. Um, but it does look like that is his it, yeah, favoring is that right leg. leg. Not putting much weight on it, but you know. A little bit two, of weight though, enough that yeah. we could see him back. Let's hope, God willing. If it was World Cup soccer, he'd be back in a play. Right. A little crazy, he'd go off in a stretcher first though. So Fredonia be second down in a short three. Balls at the Hillbillies. 48 yard line after the Fry Whitfield connection. It's Fry's second catch of the game. This time we have Trips right. Fry's all alone here on the left. And his lot are going to line up in front of Whitfield. Boy, I'll tell you, and when they spread the field like this, it, it is got, it's man to man coverage. You Absolutely. know, they can't really, they, they have the single safety. Where is he going to help? He's going over to the three. I, I, but it, I'd love to see Fry try to beat this guy at eight yeah. versus eight. It, but who do you focus on if you're Gawanda? You right. got Whitfield, Ladder, and, and all four receivers are a real threat yeah. of this Fredonia offense. Whitfield's looking to his right, looking back to his left, like you talked about, going deep to Fry. Nowhere near him on that play. Ball thrown out of bounds, incomplete, second down and three. You know, it's a good time to take a shot. You're at midfield. You're second down and short. Yeah, I like to call you the lineup you area, the matchup you wanted. Remember, this is brought to you by DFT Communications. Uh, supply our internet. Fake to Lauder, oh. pass to Ronsky's high and incomplete. Uh, had to rush that a little bit. Uh, he had, uh, he, boy, I don't have a 60. Is that, wasn't that number 60 that came in? Uh, not sure. 77 lost his helmet, and Sean Farnham ran over and picked it up for him, but he's got to go out of the play now. So a much smaller player, 65, is coming in for him. Um, you know, when you got fourth and short here, that could be key because you lost two bigger players, well, 75 and 77. Now they've spread the field. My guess is they're just going to, Lauder's going to lead block and Whitfield's going to run a sweep yeah. right. Yeah. Sweep I mean, there's right a lot of room or, out there. Yeah. Wide now, a lot of times in fourth and short, they do go to Whitfield and run Lauder leading. This time they give it to Lauder, but there is a flag. It has to be motion, right? Yeah, you know, but motion they would, call, I think he'd blow the whistle. I think they try, I mean, I, that went as yeah, soon as, yeah. False start, and you know, 
you know, usually that stops the play, but they didn't blow the whistle. So it'll be a five yard play on the hill penalty on the hillbilly. So it's gonna go fourth to almost eight yards because we had a fourth and a short three. Yeah. Now we have fourth and a short eight. So that changes the play call here. And you know what? Special teams are coming on. Uh, Whitfield and the offense want to go for it, but they are going to punt. Rush is back, and, and we saw Rush last year, and so far he has not disappointed this year from the punting position. And you have mm -hmm. one returner back. You know, Guan is not convinced they're not going to fake it here. And that's number eight, Noah Votley, back to return Rush's punt. Looking to pin him back deep. Rush is punting and he gets a deep punt nice off. Punt. Davis and is there, the can roll. he get there? What a roll. Down to right about the six yard line where Micah Davis downs it. Great job, great eagle punt by Rush. No chance for return. Pinning the Gowanda Pine Valley Panthers back deep with 16 seconds left in the first quarter. The score remains. Fredonia nine, Gowanda Pine Valley zero. Offensively, I don't think Gwanda has the first down yet in two possessions. No, I take that back. Nope, after the punt, yep. after the, the muff punt, they, threw they the did pass. get a couple yep. first downs there. I take that back. They had that big play, yeah. 17 yard pass and catch. That was really there, yeah. Yeah, and I think they had a run, you know, to get down to first and goal. Yep, like, they had 12, yeah. yeah, yeah they so had, they had yes. two first downs after the turnover by Fredonia. But boy, they're just now. You know, I guess this is better field position than last possession, yeah, but yeah. not by much. Not by much. And you got to get the Panthers offense. This is handed off here. Oh, he and lost four yards, three yards. Just short. He just got out of the end zone. Again, from this angle, it's hard to see the tackles. I think, you know, you got that orange short. That might have been, and that was, I believe, Matt Cash was in on it. There as I tell that he's got that orange shirt not tucked in playing the nose tackle position, and he's in there. I did not see there was another Fredonia player. Oh, that's Micah Davis in first, yep. and Matt Cash helped finish him up. Davis must have been blitzing from the linebacker position, uh, starting that tackle for a loss. Huh? That'll bring us to, to the end, end of the quarter. first quarter. Score remains Fredonia nine, Gawanda, Gawanda Pine Valley zero. It's gonna be second and long deep in their own territory to start the second quarter. Our first winner of the night in the Fredonia Football Boosters hey. Raffle is Ted Farno. Ted, if you are here, please come to the press box and collect your prize. Ted Farnham on the big Fredonia Booster Club fundraiser win in the love first it. quarter. Ted, if you're not here and you're tuning you in, you just won. Watch. Congratulations to Ted Farnham. I'll be able to see you too. Uh -huh. Boy, with those two in the front, so yeah, our time of possession, I've never been a big fan of it anyway, but Fronia had the ball for four minutes and 28 seconds. So obviously Kawanda had it for the other eight, seven. Uh, I'll go like this. 32. So double the time of possession for Gwanda, but hasn't oh, been able yeah. to do much with it. Obviously, the big turnover on the goal line. Oh, you know, that just a game changer. It, it and we talked an about fumble, they had too. to win the way turnover. Way up in the air yeah. like that. You know, it's like Davis was fair catching that fumble on that one. Simon. Looks like Brownie's going to do a quick pass to the right, and he's tackled Safety. immediately. Oh, no, incomplete. Oh, the rule yeah. incomplete. Good what a him, job there by the that zone. left corner. Let's see if we can get it number on that, but that was great job. Is that McCall over there? I think that might be Devon McCall, number 24, playing outside linebacker. He was all over that. That was the best drop at incomplete pass Guan has had all year, because that would have been a safety if he caught it. So now you got third and long, third and 13 here for Gawanda. Terrible field position. They're in a mess again. And Ferroni has crowned that line of scrimmage to bring in the house. Browning's looking to his wow. right, and he completes it uh, to number 17. That's Quinton Center, who had his second completion uh, reception of the 
game as Jamison Quinn in on the tackle. It was left alone out there, one-on-one -on -one coverage, and that's a nice route by center and a real nice pass by Browning, getting a huge first down if you're a Panther fan. Yes. Yeah, and a very well executed play. Uh, you know, Quinn a little too soft on that one, I think, but. Uh, oh, they didn't get a first down. It's fourth down now. Oh my now. gosh, you're right. Sorry, I thought it was, so yeah. Davis back to return the punt. The kick is line drive kick right to him. He drops it, but he's able to jump on it right at the 44 yard line. He would have had some room for a return there. He tried to run before he catches on a low line drive um, punt. So two muff punts so far by Fredonia. This time Davis is able to recover it. No harm, no foul there. But you can see he's running before he secures that catch and there's a little bit of a late hit but Davis deserves it after dropping that Well, and he's coming in for the fumble. They're no, desperate I, right now. They're looking for it, yeah. I thought I could tighten it a little bit. It's a good field position once again for the Hillbillies, right at just inside the 43-yard line of the Panthers. First down and 10. Lotter's lined up behind Whitfield in a pistol formation. And right away, before they even line now, are up Are we going to call that? I, I don't know. They if don't give him the chance to jump back, huh? But if, they, if Fredonia moved after he jumped, right. then they have to call it. Yep. But it's going to be a, a really undisciplined, unnecessary five-yard penalty against Gawanda. And again, Greg, I mean, this place is crazy. I'm yelling into the microphone. I know. It's, it's wonderful to see. Yeah. First and five for the Hillbillies. Whitfield takes a snap, gives it to Lauder. Big hole on the right side once again. Nice move. Breaks a tackle. Cuts back. And he's going to be stopped just short of the end zone. It's going to be first and goal, tackle about the one. I think that's the right call by the officials. Bon Giovanni and his partner were all over them. It's going to be first and goal at the one for the Hillbillies. Big run for Lotters, approaching 100 yards already on the game. Great run, too. I mean, he had, uh, by the way, again, the offensive line blew him open yeah. a big hole. But once he got into the second level, he had to make two or three moves, made him. Uh, and and just fought his way down to that to the one yard line. Yeah, and can you imagine being the secondary guy with a Matt Lauder yeah. running at you with a no full fun. head of steam? Absolutely not. Lauder's gonna get the ball again, as and he, he should. is in the end zone for his second touchdown of the game, second touchdown of the season, second touchdown for the Hillbillies here tonight. 10:44 remaining, making the score 15 nothing with the extra point attempt to follow. Sal Tabone, Greg is in on once again this extra point attempt. And he's been rock solid. Ethan Fry holding Woodfield himself snapping. Snap down and the low line drive kick is nice good. Tabone remains perfect for the season, making the score. Fredonia 16, Gawanda 0, 10 42 remaining in the first half. Boy, Fredonia's just clicking it out. And now, uh, this is a good time right now while the teams are exchanging. I, I got to put in my PSA, my public service for, for the Fredonia boys. We, uh, every year we do a. Uh, uh, a fundraiser for the resource center. We we sell the newspapers, and uh, Greg Lauer is great about getting a few of the teams together. This year we had the girls' soccer team, the boys' basketball team, who's done it for the last probably 15 years, I'll bet at least, and the boys' football team, who's joined in the last years. Well, the boys' football team by far just crushed it. I mean, they 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 uh, they worked it hard. They did their 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 duty. They raised a ton of money. Uh, you know, to help developmentally disabled individuals. Just can't say enough about how the coaching staff and the kids uh, came to life on this and, and just yep. did a super job. Couldn't be, couldn't have been prouder of them. Well, and Greg, thanks for being involved in that and helping out. And, and you're, you're right, there was a lot of boys, both my boys are out there selling tickets and, and for once they didn't complain, you know, they wanted to go out and uh, I think they had a good time hanging out with their buddies and helping out the community. Yeah, it's, you know, I that's mean, what high school sports should be about. Doing a little good doesn't have to be, uh, you know, difficult. I mean, they, 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 I think they did enjoy it uh, and we certainly appreciate it. 
Calder near, uh, kicking off once again for Fredonia. Third time already tonight, with 10.42 remaining the second quarter. And you hear the fans chanting, Calder, Calder, Calder. There, it is a rocking crowd. It is tonight. Booming kick, is that gonna stay in bounds though? It is not, it's gonna go right out at Boy, the Boy, it 10. almost, after that last kick died on the goal line, that thing almost died before it went out. Yeah, yeah, it did. You know what, again, if they take the ball, what, the 35-yard line? We, we've seen this so much in high school sports. Uh, again, two weeks ago for Fredonia, it was a back-breaking kickoff return um, for Allegheny to, to give that up. It's just such a momentum swing. So if you don't give up big returns, uh, you yeah, know, I'm kicking not sure out of if I wasn't. I'll tell you, I'm not sure if I, if I wouldn't be prepared to make them kick it again. You know... You're right, but you're Gwanda right now. You're, I think you're I'd love any the safe play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd love the yeah, right. The last two possessions was five and one yard yeah. line, three yard line starting. So this is 30 plus yards better field position for them. It's the most positive play they've had really yeah. in, in a couple series. So it makes sense just to take that, try to settle things down a little bit. Browning's going to go under center. Twins right, lone receiver to the left. Ah, there's a giveaway. Yeah, a little over anxious, a little amped up. We got a little bit of a defensive change here. Uh, Ronsky's in at court safety. And Simon Davis, who's been playing safety all season, is in at right corner. Um, I'm not sure if that's injury or just trying to change things up here a little bit. Defensively, um, I think Jamison Quinn, yeah, Quinn is the one off now. So a little different look, and over at the other corner, I believe that's Keegan Whitfield over at the left corner. And it's gonna be a run play here. You got Micah Davis in there, you got 76, Dylan Skelly in there as well. But you know, after the five yard offsides to start and gain a two, now it's second three for uh, the Panthers, and again, best looking offensive possession since they had since their first possession. Lauder was in there as well, along with Izzy, who's having a great defensive uh, game. That's Izzy Martinez. Been out at least three times already at the D-line spot. We've called his name. Looks like Davis and Lauder are both coming here on the blitz. Right up on the line of scrimmage. Here they come. Davis missed the tackle. Another missed tackle. It's going to be a first, first down. down. Lauder makes the tackle eventually. We got Davis and Ezra missing tackles there, giving up a big first down if you're a Panther fan. First down. You know, when you come in on that blitz, you, you got to control that speed as well. And, you know, and, and Davis. Came a little too hard and ran right by number eight. That's Nolan Votley, who we Looks like call this on. Taking their third timeout? No, At second timeout. At least second, time out. At least yeah. second yo. But again, they'll do anything they can to slow down this game and try to quiet this crowd a little bit. Yeah. Because it's been a real nice home field advantage for the Hillbillies so far. You can say a lot of negative things about this field, but the atmosphere is unbelievable. It's a oh, great as place. we were walking in, but I mean, the, the field's a mess. I mean, it's a disaster. It, it, it's a tire but fire. The, but the atmosphere, the, the bowl, the fact that we're in this bowl and the end zone is full of people and the stands, you know, they've got wonderful visitor stands compared to a lot of places we go. You know, these stands are full. So a great place to watch a game, tough place to play it. Yeah, and it's not really, I mean, and, and let's call it out, spades a spade here. Shame on the school board, shame on the school district for putting these boys on this field year after year. We had bleachers condemned. I mean, it, it, it's a mess. <laughs> and they do nothing year after year to fix it. The holes are fixed. Nothing's fixed on this field. But it looks awesome, and the fans are really into it. But the conditions are just blatantly terrible. Here we go, we got first and 10. Panthers on their own 42 yard line. Browning's looking to pass here. Throws oh, deep over the middle, and he's got a receiver open. 
and that's number 84 with a big catch. That two big slant post plays. That's, uh, let's see, is that 84? Yeah, Noah Geiger with a big catch from Browning. Very and well thrown ball. Here absolutely. we go on the replay. Stepped up into the pocket, had him beat. And you can see there the safety came up and took a, you know, as Roski steps up and there's a receiver over the middle short, and they went deep, he guessed wrong. And one on one, Whitfield was beat to the right side. And now Panthers really need this touchdown Here to they get are, back yep. in this game. On the 15, second time in the red zone tonight. First time ended with a fumble on the goal line, so we'll see what they can do here. Twins Same. right, lone yep. receiver, two backs, Browning under center. And he's gonna give it to number 10, and Izzy Martinez is all over that. Good. And what a game that young man is having. Fresh off his visit to St. John Fisher last weekend. He's looking to show those Fisher coaches, look at me, here I am. Come get me. And that's a great play by Izzy Martinez. That's a big play there by the big fella. You got Nick Whitfield, I think, take, coming in, taking his first snaps. On defense, he's playing a cornerback position. So now you have Davis and Whitfield lined up at the two corners, which again, we haven't seen that all year. And it's a false start by the receivers there. Hate to give that one up, yeah. Yeah, and as a former receiver and a, and a former coach, there's nothing that frustrates you more when a receiver of all people jump off sides. I know the Fredonia coaching staff have been talking about doing this a little bit. I thought they might save this look for, you know, maybe a Salamanca Southwestern. But you put a, an athlete like Whitfield out one-on-one -on, -one on a receiver and say, hey, you take him out of the game. You got Davis over on the other side. You take him out of the game. That really helps the rest of the defense. And that's what they're, take, they're trying out here. Trips right, lone receiver to the left. Looking to the right side, challenging Davis, and he should have had that oh, interception buddy. there. Great coverage by Simon Davis, but he's got to seal that deal, complete the play, and make that interception. So we got a third and 15. Yeah, I think he was surprised that the ball was coming. He's got him blanketed. First real poor pass by uh, Browning. I mean, he's all over him. I mean, 84 did have his hand in there. Almost maybe he knocked that away. Now that I look at that again, you know, I'm going to hear it at home. But come back, get that ball, make a play. Now it's third and long for the Panthers. Good coverage on Davis. I will give him that. Browning once again looking to the left side. No time. Running for his life out there. Desperation pass. Oh, this time it goes right through Whitfield's hands. Could almost. have been an easy interception and there. Almost into Conklin's. I mean, you oh, watch this again. To say. I, Here we go. I didn't even know. I thought he was. Did he stay behind the line? Uh, I see. think so. I mean, he's running for Steps his life up. here. Palook is yep. there. Makes a nice. Uh, risk. Yeah, he's back. Yeah, he's all over it. And, and, watch, and Whitfield's oh. running before that. I mean, great job by yep. Davis and Whitfield back to back plays, but blowing an opportunity for an interception. Now it's fourth and long, fourth and about 15 now. Fourth and 15 from the um, 20. You know, our, our, our score clock says third, but it's fourth down. So great plays by the new corners. Let's so not, and there we go, it's updated. Good job. Um, but you gotta seal those deals. You gotta convert on those turnovers and stop any chance of a score by the Panthers. Brownies and shotgun, twins, both sides. Looking here, and once again, pressure all over by Palook. Browning's running and he completes it, but a short I don't know. game. Did they? No, yeah. I don't. Yeah, it's completed. Yes, they did catch it, but just short of the yeah, first. Yeah, I mean, no, way short, because that's to get back oh, you're to the right. line of scrimmage. Oh, you're right. I think that was Four Evan game. Ford, uh, number 14 with the catch, but nowhere near first down, and a great stance by the Fredonia defense there after the, you know, the big long pass there given again Two big plays by the Panthers, and they can't convert, convert either time, and that's going to come back to bite them in this game. you got to get points in the red zone, right? You get down there, you, you know, right. especially, especially with Fredonia rolling. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, so it looks like first Davis, and 10 on the 20. You know, Micah Davis is in the backfield here. we got a bunch formation. 
Uh, Whitfield's got it. Pitches to Davis. Davis cuts it up the middle. He's got, room. got a lot of room. Braun is still on his feet out to about the 36, 37 yard line. Almost broke that through. They tried throwing him forward. If he could have just stayed in the feet, he'd been gone. But nice run by Davis. Another great job by that offensive line. We're going to put it on the 35 or 36. What are we calling that? 36. Uh, six, 36 yard line. Davis First still in the backfield. Whitfield. There, once again, it's to Davis. Got a big hole to the right side. Slips a little, he's going to get another first down. Up to about the 48, 49 yard line. Looks like we might have another Panther down uh, back at the 40. So this offensive line is just dominating so far, whether it's Lauder or Davis in the backfield. They're running through huge holes there. In the back, I mean, and the backs are doing a nice job of hitting those holes. I mean, there is yeah. no, it is not dancing or looking. They're 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 firing through. Let's we'll see, and it, you know that's back at the line of scrimmage. Is that number ten, Greg? That looks like number ten. Uh, Gavin Phillips, who's one of their their bigger players, you know, their middle linebacker and lead running back, I believe, for the season. So that'd be a huge loss. Let me check that, confirm those stats real quick. But uh, yeah, 35 carries, he's the leading rusher for them as well. He hasn't, um, we've seen a lot more of Conklin today too. I'm a little surprised after looking at the stats. Yeah. And, and, and Gavin Phillips is the uh, 19 ta total tackles for the year. Also, so he's the leading rusher and defensive tackler, middle linebacker. So this would be a huge loss. He's in a decent amount of pain. He just took his helmet off there, um, and you hate to see this. He is up. Let's see. And yeah, he's getting some help, so he can't. One of those legs, he, I don't know if it's a knee, an ankle, a hip, uh, but he can't put a lot of weight that looks like on that, what is that, would that be the left leg maybe a little banged up? Uh, so what a loss that would be if Phils can't return for the Panthers. And here comes the Hillbillies right back up. You know, no huddle, no nothing, right back at they the line go, of scrimmage. Right. And that's the right thing to do. Smell blood, go get it, give, you know, go give Gawanda the, chance think they have any chance in this game and let's see if they take a shot here at midfield first down Woodfield takes a snap and he's doing just that he's got Davis wide oh, open got, oh he's gonna keep it himself nice block and he's gonna get another first down runs out of bounds right around the 37 yeah, yard 35 no nope, 34 yard line Another three consecutive rushing first downs for the Hillbillies in this possession. And I'll tell you, he had some room and he was running nice, but Fry just cracked back on somebody and uh, that, you know, sprung him for another 10 yards perhaps. That was a beautiful block. 34. So he got trips right 18. here. Fry is alone on the left hand side. He went to him last time in this situation. Lauder to his right, and Whitfield's going to keep it himself. He bounces off one tackle, cuts it up, and he is tripped up. Almost broke that for a touchdown. Tackled right around, that looks like about the 13-yard line. So that's four consecutive rushing first downs for the Hillbillies on this drive. Yeah, 20-12, 18-13. They're just tearing up big chunks of yardage. We call this the 13, 14. Uh, let's see. So now we're talking like last week. Twins to each side, Lauder to Whitfield's right. He looked a little tired after this, so let's see. They're going to go elsewhere. No, pass. Lauder looking to his left, finds McCall. Short gain, complete about a five yard catch for McCall. Again, the last two weeks has been about a nine of those receptions in that exact route to the left. Second, uh, gain of maybe three now. The ball's at the 10. Yeah, it's gained about three on McCall's reception. Trips right. And 
Whitfield's going to hand it to Lauder. Is Lauder going to get his third touchdown? No, just short of the end zone. It looks like it might first be down. first and goal here. And it is first and goal right around that three yard line mark. Lauder a nice run. So, you know, there's another rushing first down. Is that the fifth one of this drive? Five out of six plays been rushing first down so far. This time, Lauder Whitfield's looking for McCall, and he is in the end zone. Very That's nice Whitfield catch. to McCall for the touchdown. Nice job by McCall fighting to get through that double, you know, two defenders on him to get the touchdown. And turned and caught it, the, you know, that was a back shoulder. Look, had to turn and catch that ball, then make the spin move and get in. Great little play. So Sal Tabone is on for the extra point attempt. 6-12 remaining in the first or second quarter, first half, 22-0. Tabone looking to convert and stay perfect for the season. Fry holding, Whitfield snapping, snaps down, and the kick is good. Boy, and that's, a, that's about a 30 yard field goal that they needed, right? That's, that's up in the, that's oh, deep. Yeah. So that makes the score 23 to nothing, 6-12 remaining in the first half. So Fredonia's putting it on them, uh, you know, you got a perfect day, you got a homecoming, they're, they're, they're calling all the things, you know, all the plays right, they had an early fumble that looked like it could cost them, but nope, came right back yeah. and uh, dug in, drove up and down the field. Yeah, I mean, I mean that, was a, that was an impressive drive. One, as he's one, two, three, four, five first downs, uh, four of them in a row. Yeah. Just 20, and all five 12, rushes, 18, 13. Yep. Rushing first downs, yep. too. And, then, you know, and by three different guys. You had to start out Micah Davis, then you had Whitfield, then you had Lauder, all rushing for first downs uh, on that play, on that drive alone. Holder O'Neill on to kick off for the Hillbillies. Uh, Harley Conklin and Noah Boltley back to return, return for the Panthers. Low line drive, almost like a squib kick this time. Ball is loose, but he comes up with it. Flag on the play. That's one of those illegal block in the back tight penalties normally. And that looks like number 14. Nice job there by Carson Coosdale on the tackle for Fredonia. Let's see what the flag is. Officials are talking. And let's see what the official call is. Block below the waist is the call. So it is against the Panthers. So that's going to push them back even farther. Yeah, usually when you see that, you press it. I did. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's, I saw that. I just looked at the yellow thing on the field and hoped for the next. That. So that'll push the ball back. Let's see, right at the 2019. We're gonna yeah, we'll call it the 19 yard line. A tough field position once again for the Panthers. Rolling to his right, looking to throw it, and it is complete. Nice catch there, breaking a tackle in the first down. Gain of 11. Nolan Boltley, he's having a nice game tonight. You know, he caught that in traffic, broke a tackle, and is gonna get a Panther first down out to the 30, so gain of 11 on the play. Greg, you got more official stat first sheets down, today. Yeah. Usually a blank paper and it's, it, it's a mess, but I still, there's sweat coming over you right now. I'll this tell you, down. trying to keep, well, this, holy yeah. crow, the Fredonia numbers, the offense is just yeah. chewing, so trying to keep up with it a little bit, um, but yes. 
Yeah, it's I mean, tough I to do this and look at you're looking down. Yeah. Well, you're doing a great job. I just get to chime in and keep this the This time Browning's so. rolling to his left, and, and, oh, he's and this time Sam Ezrat's all over him, forcing the throw away. The two defensive ends, on, get up, Alex Blug and Ezra, have, have been all over the quarterback, and Browning is down, and this uh -oh. would be a huge loss. They lose Browning and Phillips in back-to-back -back possessions. This would be a nightmare for the Panthers. Browning's up, okay. So it looks like he's, he's limping a little bit. Is he gonna stay in the game or no? Yeah, I think he's going to get the play call from so they make them your favorite, right? Oh, uh, don't get me started. Uh, you know, <laughs> Let's yeah. make the hurt player There's go over nothing and Nothing crazier the than making the quarterback run that sprint and get the play and come back. I mean, you so, gotta be able to waggle it, you know, do some kind of a hand signal. I don't care if you shout it out, you know? Right. I mean, anything's better than the 35 yard sprint or the 70 yard sprint to, and then you gotta run the play. So it's second down and 10, ball spotted at the 30 yard line. Hand off this time, Ezra does a nice job containment, but Lauder isn't able to make the tackle, so a positive gain. Gain of four. You know, and Lauder, good for him. Matt Lauder's motion the sideline, patting his chest like, my bad coach, my bad. Because, you know, too often, that's it's an excuse. It's not my fault. You see it all the time from high school up to the pros. So my hat's off to Lauder there, I'll take an ownership, I'm missing a tackle, four yard gain, not the end of the world, but Hey, my bad, Ezra did his job at defensive end, making him cut up to me. I should have made that tackle. It's Browning's back under center here. You got motion to the left, fake to the motion, give it to the middle, and he cuts off. He's gonna gain one or two one. yards there. And Cash is there, it's number four. So Harley now you're down Conklin. 23 to nothing with four and a half to go. As good a field position as you've had all day, yeah. except for the one drive. Do you, do you roll the dice? Yeah, I mean, you know, and if you're Coach Tyler Thompson over there and you're looking at your plays, she, like, Besides a couple post plays, what do they got? You well, know, he's like he's thrown the ball well. I, frankly, yeah. I'm not. I'm curious why they ran the ball two plays. I mean, the, their successes come through the air. You know, uh, kind of at this point, abandon the. Uh, they're certainly yeah. getting. They're getting mauled by Fredonia up front. Yeah, absolutely. That this offensive defensive line has dominated the game for the Hillbillies. So you got Twins right. And you got 17 center who has a couple big catches. Not even looking this way. Browning is under all sorts of pressure once again, running for his life. He's got the first. And he is, what a play by Browning. Watch out, fumble from, oh no. Yeah, I know, and showing, really showing some good speed there, but there's a nice tackle, taking Browning right off his feet, but that's not until about the Hillbilly 36 yard line, but what a play by Browning yes, there. Yes, because he was in trouble. I mean, he's backing up, all right? I think it's gonna be a 10 yard sack, yeah. and all of a sudden he makes a little move, then he gets into the secondary and, and just, you know, puts it on. That's got to be. Yeah. He had to run about 80 yards on that play. Absolutely, and I think I think, and I don't know this, but I think the Hillbillies right now they switch from zone to man. I think they're more in man there. So if you're in the secondary and you got your guy locked up, your back is to the quarterback. You're not seeing him scramble, and you're locking your guy down, which obviously no one was open. And Browning took advantage of that, broke a couple tackles, and a nice run there by the senior quarterback. So yeah, 29 yard gain, gets him back in the, you know. So I, just good things are happening when they throw the ball. Handoff here, you know, not a lot, but you know what, the, the line got a little bit of push there, Greg. You know, there wasn't a big hole, but the running back there, I th was that four? Yeah, that was, number, that was back to Conklin. He's got you know, a bundle of carries. You're right. You know, gain of three on first down right out the middle, which is, you know, that's something they haven't been able to do. Well, I, I think more important, the clock keeps running. You know, they, they really need to shorten this game. They need to shorten this game, but they need to score here to get Correct. back into this game. Correct. Because they're kicking off the start the second half, too. So this is a, for any chance for the Panthers to win this game, you would think this is almost a must score. They've been in the red zone twice. They're not there yet, but no point. So... You get down to the 30-some yard line, they're about the 32, 33 yard line. You gotta score. Browning back, 
looking to pass once again under pressure. Throws it in, great coverage there by Whitfield. No chance for completion. So, I mean, really since they put Whitfield and Davis in at corners, it's really shut down that passing game um, for the Hillbilly, I mean, for the Panthers, but the Hillbilly defense has really shut them down. Third, I was going to say that the third only down. had second yep. on the thing there so for a second. I said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" I got to look down at my sheet. Browning looking, looking, looking the pass, looking, looking, right can't now. find anyone. Luke's all over. He's still on his feet. La pass and again, throw it away. Great coverage by the secondary. Yeah, that, I mean, you didn't see a single white jersey in space. And he had a good six, eight seconds. I mean, he bought some time, but first he had a nice pocket, then he rolled out. Yeah, usually that's the time when coverage breaks down, particularly man. You can only cover yeah. a guy for so long. Right. But, oh, the, the two receivers, if you, as I look back, yeah, they actually ran into fell each other. Down. Yeah. But still, I mean, they were locked off. So now it's fourth and eight. Crucial, crucial fourth down for the Panthers. You think they got to throw it here or try some yes. razzle dazzle type play? But it's where their success yeah. has been, throw the ball. I, I'd like to see him do something with a little quick, quick slant. Yeah, and you I mean, there's think, a big cushion for 17 over right, here. Right, but Davis is playing in, expecting there it that is. slant. They're looking for it, oh, and he's boy. all over yep. it. Oh, they're going to oh, call a gonna flag. Call that ball might have been deflected, though, if it's deflected by Micah Davis. Here we go, yes, and look at it. There's, the, there's our line judge. Nope. Let's take Ready? a look at this replay because if that ball is deflected. That negates pass yep. interference. And let's see. Micah Davis is dropping. I think he, I don't know where the interference is on that. That night, I don't even know. Uh, and I, that may it be was a an dead there. But yeah, but where was the contact even? Let's see. Yeah. Sometimes I think it's one of the a sympathy call. Yeah, it could be. And that's a tough call. Pass interference against the defense. Uh, but they did exactly what they thought they were going to try to do. And, yep. and, and you know what? Fronia was sitting on it. Yeah, they credit. were. A and absolutely. And, you know, tough call. Overcome it. So it's a 15-yarder, huh? Yep. Pass interference. 15-yard penalty. First down ball at about the 17-yard line. Motion out here left. Browning is going to keep this one. Has a hole. And he's going to get into. Is he getting in? He, is the ball loose? They certainly were stripping on it. I think it's loose. They're signaling touchback. Boy, that's two fumbles on, for right. Browning. Right. Inside the 10-yard line. Yeah. Inside the one-yard line. Yeah, no, they signal touchback, I on think. On both sides, yeah. yeah. So let's take a look if we get this replay here. I have no idea who caused it or who recovered it. That's uh, who's holding that up right there? That's number 11, Brandon Ronsky holding the ball up, but there is a flag. Unsportsmanlike against the Panthers. So that'll give another 15 yards on, you Boy, know, from the 20 to the 35. The yeah. You know, on the touchback, 20, 15 yards on the penalty. I think it's going to be at the 35. Two minutes left, three timeouts. It's, a, it's an eternity for this Ferroni yes. offense tonight. Haven't had a drive go longer than that. Well, two minutes, I guess. Yeah, they've had a three-minuter. So, yeah, ball spotted right at the 35. Davis is in for Lauder in the backfield here. And, and that's two big fumbles for those you know, Panthers. You know, I mean, he was fighting, trying to get in, no doubt about it, but... You know, and look at this Panther defense, Greg. I mean, you know they're going to try to go deep. They got one guy back, but it's, I mean, you got Fry and, and Davis on both sides going deep one-on-one -on -one coverage. You think they might tell him, no, it's a handoff to Davis. He's got a lot of room, and he's going to get another first down here all Big the way out to yards. about the Panther 43-yard line. Big hole and great speed by Davis hitting that hole. Davis is coming off after that first carry in Lauders yeah, right back in. Yep, back to the 46. 19-yard gain, got it. 
trips left, single receiver to the right with Davis, and they throw it to oh. Davis, and it goes right through his hands, drops the ball on his first target of the night, second down. Very nice call, he had, a, the, the, he had the one on one coverage on this side. Ball was well thrown. Yep, you got, you know, you want the ball, you gotta convert on these opportunities. Right through his hands, he knows it, second down. Boy, they're really spreading him out right now. I, yeah, so this I was gonna say, I'd be surprised Lauder, if he didn't yep. go up the middle. And Lauder's got a huge hole, it's gonna be another first down before he's brought down by number four. Harley Conklin, and what a job by this offensive line tonight. Just blowing them out. Play after play. You know, left side, right side, it doesn't matter. Lauder, Whitfield, Davis, it doesn't matter. The holes are big, and everyone's doing a nice job converting on these running plays. He's got a lot of room, he's going for, oh, he's got room. Yeah, there this you go. This time Davis converts on the attempt and Whitfield hits him uncontested for the touchdown. Making the score, Fredonia 29, Gawanda 0. We're behind on uh, the replay here, looking back at Lauder. But here it is, there's a touchdown pass from Whitfield to Davis. A nice easy completion, Just beating number beat, 84. Yeah, yeah, beat him badly, great throw. By the way, Chip, great little coverage right there. We started yeah. out with the quarterback. We did a we had a fade yeah. to the wide receiver in the end zone. Absolutely. Excellent job by, you know. And, yeah, own Jackson, on. Yeah. Jackson Hickey, oh. Cody Decker, Hannah Rewald. Great job on that camera work. Yeah, Salta Bone on Ethan Fry holding for extra point attempt. Snap is up down and the kick is good. It's like an instant replay every time to Bones kick making that. Extra point, the kick seems to be in the exact same spot every time. 123 remaining, Fredonia 30, Gawanda zero. So yeah, we, as we, you know, that was a 43 second drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two big, you know, big, two big chunks of yardage by the running backs and uh, and then the, the bomb for the touchdown and holy crow. Well, and this gives Woodfield good to see a little, yeah, oh, a little a bit of pass. credit there as a great throw, but Yep. You know, your receiver makes a drop. You know, you hit him in the hands, he dropped it. Yep. Go right back to, and he's done this earlier with Ethan Fry in another game. Fry dropped the ball, goes right back to him, gets a completion. That that helps your receivers oh, get that so confidence, short-term memory back, um, and, and that's, a, that's a really big thing to do um, for your receivers. Because if you're thinking about that drop 10, 15 minutes, it messes with your head. So you've seen Woodfield do that a couple times this year. Um, this time he held Simon Davis out, who was up for the challenge and made an easy catch, but he still made the catch in made the, the catch. end zone for the touchdown. Boy, so. that ball, yeah, I'll tell you, that ball starts to, you, you, you start to choke up a little when you're that uh, open yeah. in the end zone so coming in. you just had a drop, you right. know, so that that definitely, you know, big play, you know, the Ferroni offense is, it almost is too easy there. They can run it 10, 15, 20 yards, a handoff, throw it deep, throw it short. Uh, and what do you do if you're Tyler Thompson in the Gwanda Panther Pine Valley coaching staff? Yeah. Uh, I think this is, let's see, this Calder. Live no, this is Sal Bone kicking yeah. off for the first time tonight. Line drive kick. It's smudged and brought up, and he is crushed wow. by. You have 55, Alex Palouk, and number 67. That's Juan Mendez just crushing little, that return. Put a yeah. special teams term Absolutely. on Absolutely. Great coverage there. Yeah, I mean, really, not only, you know, he got up, like you hear our, our partners on the radio talk, he didn't fumble the ball. Right. Because that's two big athletes. Blasted. Yeah. Full speed, both of them hitting him at the same time. So nice job on the returner there, just hanging on that ball. So Davis has moved back to safety. Jamison Quinn back in corner here, trying to prevent that big play. Handoff up front, Lauder and Davis in him. on the tackle. Yeah, that's number 88. Mason Ruff. Mason Ruff on the carry. Uh, timeout for Donia. Ouch. You know, they're looking to get the ball back and score again for the half of that timeout. 
You know, and that's that's the killer attitude you need to have. You know, we haven't seen as much of that. And, and honestly, yeah, they got Guan tonight. It's great to come in. You know, all tents of first look like it's going to be a win, even though it's the first half. But the next two weeks, Craig, during this timeout, yes. they got undefeated Salamanca, who doesn't who, get to play and as of now. Their game. who is but, you yeah, know v been the class of the league the absolutely. last three or four years. Yeah. And, you know, if a real more. strong team. And then the week after that, Southwestern. And the reason those two games are so key for our spectators, there's three divisions in Class C. Eight teams make the playoffs. Now, the top two seeds from the three divisions are automatic, and there's two wild card spots. So a third and, and even a fourth seed technically could make it, but do you really want to leave it up to tiebreakers in that right. chance? You know, you got to at least win one of those two games against Salamanca for no, or Southwestern to guarantee yourself a playoff spot. You know, and, and that's what the Hillbillies are up against, and it's going to be no joke. And then after the two powerhouses, they have three games and nine games because of the right. cancellation the COVID delays next week. And, yep. So Fredonia, after this week, has a real tough order, and Gawanda is just looking to go in the half and run the clock out. But Fredonia is going to call another timeout now it's going to be third and about five from the Panther 40-yard line. You know, Fredonia's trying to score again, like we said. So with a minute five, now we know two of those timeouts are gone. Yep, yep, they have one timeout left. A minute Third five down, on the They're going to make clock. them punt. If they, yeah, I mean, Gowanda has to go. They, they can't just yeah. run the clock. They've got to go for the first down. You would think. Because but the, if they throw an incomplete pass, that leaves a first down I, with Fredonia. Or, but excuse me, not it. first down. Yes, a, a, but they're going to control it. They've got to, you know, yeah. You would think so. And, you know, you know if if you're Gowanda, maybe you look at that slant again. You got, you know, Quinn back in here at corner, and they've had some success over there. With Davis going back in at safety, um, but no, they have 23 out here on Quinn, and I don't think we've seen John Sheldon with a catch. So you got trips to the right side, so no safety really in the middle of the field. Oh, it's a bad stop, but Browning does a good job. Rolls to his right, then they got the first it, down. He's going to get a first down. And it looks like I don't know if that was Davis guy, but he was late getting there, pushed him out of bounds, but. What a play again by Browning. He's having a heck of a game. I mean, this is a bad snap. He reaches out his right hand, deflects it to himself, rolling right on the run, as you're about to see. That's a terrible snap. Under all sorts of pressures, completes the pass to Nolan Volton, who's had a great game himself. That's a silent G, Greg. That's Voltley. the silent G. I've been telling you that all game. Votal. <laughs> or Votley, yeah, Votley. <laughs> Here we go. Now... Browning back in shotgun, twins to the left side. Fakes a handoff, spins, under pressure again. Farnham all over him. Oh, and the boy, ball, he was opening yeah. that gap, too. I'll tell you, they, I mean, I know we got a 30 to nothing game, but go on to sh throw the ball. I mean, they, they've got, and by the way, if I'm the, you, you ask, what does a Gowanda coach do now? Gets ready for next week, you know, <laughs> so start heaving that ball and getting ready. Yeah. All right, and Gowanda, you know, they, they didn't, Two falls ago, I believe they couldn't finish their season. They have a win this year, so I mean that's that's a positive. Um, but now you know if again we saw Phillips go down, I haven't seen him back. And he's, I was looking for him too. Yeah, and he's again leading tackler and rusher of that team, uh, middle linebacker, running back. So that was a huge loss. Wing left, twins right, lone receiver here to the left. Motion now, Browning's looking. Farnham's coming in oh, and slipped. he slipped, but you got Farnham and uh, is that Sam Azrod, I believe, off the right end all over Browning. And, and Farnham really forced that quote unquote slip. I would give him the credit for that sack because he's coming up right out the middle. And with that height, you know, how do you throw over that or get away from that? And Fredoni chose not to call a timeout here on third and long, which. If they were gonna be called the first I two, I think why? once they got under, well, yeah, once I mean, they got under that, uh, and if it's down to if the one wants to, they could have 
run it out because they would have called the timeout, then they almost could kneel it out. Yeah, right, 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 right. So you got real deep safety here in Davis. The last thing, and that is going to bring us to the end of the first half with the score, Fredonia 30, Gowanda Pine Valley 0. Um, and I think, Greg, before we go too much farther, let's just, we'll take a break here. We'll come back. We'll do a halftime show. We'll do you, get your stats ready. And uh, we'll be back with you in five, about five to eight minutes. Ready? We're, we're ready. live. All right, we're back with the. All right, we're back with the halftime stats with the, about a minute to go in the half, but uh, or in the halftime. I thought we'd have a little, no uh, homecoming, no princes and they did that all before the they game. They did it before. All right. Yeah, we didn't get any notice I gotcha, names or anything I gotcha. like that. I know. So, uh, so, so as we look. What, what happened? Wait, what? They're going home? Gawanda just... Forfeited? Was this announced that Gawanda is forfeiting the remainder of the game at halftime, down 30 to nothing. I, you'll never... I mean, boy, oh, boy. Well, I guess we'll go... I guess these are the full game stats Yeah, then. absolutely. Uh, we'll go through it real quick. That's... That, I mean, a little shocking... Uh, frankly, I didn't know you could do it. Yeah, I mean, it has been done before. Silver Creek couldn't finish the game. It's one thing if you're down to, ago. you know, 14 guys or something, but very yeah. interesting. Very, uh, I, I guess, uh, well. You know, and the shame is here for, you know, nothing, not even going to talk about Gwanda Pine Valley. You know, obviously they had some concerns and, and health issues or whatever, but unfortunately for this Ferroni team, they played two quarters and now two weeks, and they have to go now go play Salamanca next week right. and Southwestern the following week. And, and, that, that's, and I mean, that hurts. You, you know, let's face it, you've got some Connolly Cup, you know, you've got some guys that are looking, to, you know, I mean, both, uh, you know, Lotter was on his way to a big game. You know, you're yeah. perhaps in all Western New York recognition. You've got right. Whitfield, who's, who's, you know, a preseason Connolly Cup kind of guy that they're looking at. He could, you know, he rolls out and has, I mean, he had very. You know, very nice half, but pedestrian stats from a full overall. Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and so he he comes out in the second half and lights it up, and all of a sudden, you know. But I, I'll tell you, yeah, little little, I guess uh, at that with that, uh, we'll give you the stats. Uh, Whitfield was on the on the passing side. Whitfield was six for ten, uh, for sixty four yards. We had uh, Ethan Fry had two catches for 18 yards. Devin McCall had three catches for 13. And, and Simon touchdown. Davis and a touchdown. And Simon Davis had the one catch for the 33 and a touchdown. So very efficient. Six for 10, 64, two touchdowns passing. Nice. And then on, uh, from the running side, Devin McCall had one carry for eight yards. Matt Lauder had a nice game going. He had six carries for 109 yards. And two uh, touchdowns, right? Two touchdowns. Oh, okay. Micah Davis had uh, uh, four carries for 65 yards. Keeps up that big average. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. that's a 15-yard carry. You know, 16 a carry. Uh, and then uh, Whitfield had, uh, he had three carries for 42 yards. So, you know, very nice one-half stats. Right. Right. Would have liked to have seen him have a chance. Now, again, if I guess, you know, Gowanda did lose two key players yeah. in the game to injury. But I'll tell you, they were still fighting. They were still playing. If it wasn't for two fumbles on the goal line. I mean, right. if, 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 uh, and, and by the way, both by Maddox Browning, who had a really good game. I thought he, he battled. You know, if there was one, th you know, one bright spot is I, if I was a, a Gowanda fan or a Gowanda coach or Gowanda, you know, is, is he, you know, he kept fighting, he kept running, he kept playing, he was making plays. And um, certainly they were outclassed by Fredonia, but gosh, they were still playing the game. Um, yeah, uh, but he had both fumbles, unfortunately. Right, uh, right. But both on the one yard line, both 
as he attempted to get across the goal line. So, uh, yeah, just a, uh, it's a shame that we, we didn't finish it out. I, I think for both teams, but hey, I, you know, again, I, I'm not in that, you know, God for, you know, I, I'm not in that situation, although I, 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 boy, as both a player and a coach, I've gotten beaten pretty good. You know, I've had my share of wins, but I've been beaten pretty good. We hung around, you know, I mean, uh, gosh, I can remember at every level having big wins and just big losses. Um, so a little disappointing, but um, great for Fredonia. They do get, you know, it's, it's a right. nice win. By the way, saves any potential injury. That's true. You know, I mean, God forbid somebody twists an ankle or something in the second half and they don't have them for Salamanca. And they are, is it, it's not Thursday, right? It's not this Thursday? I, Although, you know... Sponsors, we can get, you know, we'll see what uh, we can get together. It's so be Fredonia at Salamanca next week for battle of first place in the division. I know you. Good night, me. everyone. I know your son did it to me. Yeah, yeah, he did it. All right, gotta go. Bye. Right. Jackson, you did it. You shut my audio. You shut the camera down and killed the audio. And killed my feed. We lost what? everything. Oh my god. Uh, where's the
just now? How well, long I, ago? Why would you shut the camera down? I didn't How think long of ago? that. Huh? How long ago? Just so While we were doing the last part. Okay. <coughs> it is what it is. I didn't get to do my condoms plug, which 